Hey everybody, so today I want to share with you guys a haul for Sophie's sixth birthday party. It is going to be Frozen 2 themed, more specifically Elsa. That's her very favorite right now, so that's what I'm focusing on. So it's not really all-inclusive of Frozen 2, it's more of like a specific Elsa theme. But either way, I wanted to share the pieces that I've come across over the past month. And then, of course, at the end of the video, you get to see everything put together. Hopefully, it can give you your own inspiration if you are looking to throw one of these parties yourself. I got a good bit of inspiration over on Pinterest. I actually have a whole board dedicated to the girls if you follow me over on there. This is what my Pinterest board for their birthday parties look like. I add a few pictures for each one of their parties. So there's Lexi's B theme, but these are just some of the core ideas of inspiration that I'm pulling from. And to start it off, this was one of the first photos I saw. This is the source, Pretty My Party, a party planning blog. I absolutely fell in love with that backdrop. So I'm not going to have all the pretty background colors or anything. I wanted to focus on the text right here. I really liked that. And I have my own balloon ideas. You guys know before for parties, I have had a real hard time finding exactly what I wanted for paper crafts. So I actually went ahead and I got myself a Cricut. I got a great deal at Walmart. I got it for about $160. So I have been having the best time with that. One of the first things I did was just start with this party. And then down here, I have the start of that bigger project, the background that I showed you. So I just have them in here so they stay flat. I got myself some foam pieces to prop them apart from each other because I do have a couple pieces to kind of make it pop off of the background. But yes, I've been doing a lot of work on my Cricut and trying to make things that I actually want and enjoy now. So with that, I did get a pack of just white tablecloths. This is typically my backdrop always. These are great because even if there's wrinkles in them, you can kind of turn up your exposure and mess around with other things that will take those lines out of your pictures. I have a lot of food stuff over in here and the only thing that I got that was small shop from this was this dust, this baking dust. And I am going to do the rock candy with this. So this is the name of it, the Empress Pearl. I liked this color because it was like an in-between of iridescent and silver. At least that's what I'm hoping it is. And I got it from this shop off of Etsy, which I will, of course, link down below. And then the rest of the box is just a little bit from everywhere. Amazon, Wilton.com, Walmart, you know, whatever. So I got these rock candies off of Amazon because I could not find any stores around me that carried them. These were way expensive. Don't buy them off of Amazon if you can help it. Normally bulk stores are just like little mom and pop shops have them, but I couldn't find any. A Kit Kat, I've got a lot of different sprinkles. Basically these are gonna help me create the different elements on the frosting. I know I'm dreaming big here, but my kid asked for something specific and I of course can't tell her no. So mom's gonna try her absolute best. So I just have a bunch of different colors here and it'll all make sense in the end hopefully. <laughs> hopefully this all comes together and it just makes a bit of sense. But basically I just have a bunch of this. But honestly, the one I'm most excited for is this rock candy and dusting it with some of this at the top. Just because, you know, Elsa, ice, snow, I think Sophie is going to get a real kick out of that. I did get two iridescent tablecloth covers from Walmart. I got these for Sophie's last birthday party with Little Mermaid and it was a really cute tablecloth. They actually have like a bit of a, like a paper backing to them and they're just very nice quality. And they're actually, I'm pretty sure, like a staple in the birthday section at Walmart. It's no longer a seasonal thing. They also have more of like a pink color too. But this is like just an iridescent. I know it's coming up a little pink on camera, but it's actually iridescent. And then I got this from the Christmas section because of course that's up right now in October. I saw these, they were $10 and I have a big idea for these. So I'm hoping this works out. I also am going to be putting up our Christmas garland. I bought that last year for Christmas. It's a bit of expensive garland. It's about $40. I can't remember if it was Wayfair or one of their sister websites, basically one of those places. However, that garland, if I can find it, I think is 100% worth $40 because it is so nice and lush and lifelike. But anyways, 
yes, I am going to be putting these across the little opening in our kitchen with that and a couple other things you're going to see here in a minute, but I was super excited and I can also reuse these. You guys know when it comes to planning parties, I try to get decorations that I can reuse and reuse and honestly with a lot of this theme, it's a lot of ice and like winter stuff and that's perfect because I like to decorate for Christmas and I can definitely reuse a lot of this. So this is a ice garland. It's kind of hard to tell. I did not take it out of the packaging. Just open it up to see that it was what I ordered. But yeah, I'm going to be putting this on my mantle with her banner. I just wanted something simple that would not take away from the banner itself. And then in here is just like a box of different stuff. So a number six balloon. It's pretty small, but again, another idea. These are snowflake balloons. You'll see those blown up. I hope they look as cute as what they look like online. And then I got this garland from Oh How Charming. I got Lexi's letter balloons from her shop and I really enjoyed those. So she had this very cute frozen garland in her shop. I thought the colors were just perfect. So I'm very eager to put this together. And then down here, I just have a couple things of napkins that I thought Sophie would enjoy. Sophie actually got a camera for her birthday and she's been loving it. So I knew when I saw these that she would love to have fun and just do these props for her birthday. All right, so that just leaves the three things that I'm most excited for over here first with the florals. These are a couple of really long stems that I found. They dangle these little like ice clusters they almost look like. It's just so perfect. Honestly, guys, I am so excited when I found these. I had to stop myself from buying like seven of them. Thankfully, all the Christmas stuff was like 50% off. So what I'm thinking is the garland above that opening with the icicles hanging down and with a stem on either side. Hopefully it's not too much. Hopefully it looks perfect, but I think it's going to look amazing. And then I found these stems as well. And these are going to go on the bar on the back side of my oven that I try to hide when I can help it. And normally I don't like metallic florals, but it looked really nice. And then this is just some iridescent twig. I guess looking at it closer, it's just clear and a little bit of silver sprinkled in. But either way, these are gonna be on the bar to help hide the oven and just give a little bit of something back there. That is gonna go up top with the garland and the lights and then over here, this dress is what she's going to be wearing. Guys, this is $15 from Walmart. I had absolutely no good expectations when it came in the mail, except it blew me away. It's actually really well made. I just can't believe it. But I just linked this the other day for a mom on Instagram, so it should still be up. As you can see, it's just, it's darling. Like, it is so cute. The little Elsa up here is actually embroidered in. It just feels really nice. It even has a tool layer underneath and then also like a slip layer. So there's definitely some volume in the skirt. It has the cape. But for $15, guys, you can't beat it. Even if you want this as a Halloween costume, I mean, it is just gorgeous. So I got that for her and I also got her some tights. These are just off of Amazon, but they're sparkly as you can see. So got her that. And then last but certainly not least is our banner. I don't know that a birthday party would be complete at this point without a banner from Janet. So this is Janet's work. Her Etsy shop is Crafty Decor. I will have her Etsy shop linked down below for you guys. She does book out months in advance, but she is 100% worth it. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at this work. Absolutely gorgeous. So the end pieces are actually shakers, so this stuff can move around inside. She also put these little snowflakes over here that move up and down, which is super cute. The girls loved messing with those. So that is Elsa and Noak, and as you can see, she has a little iridescent piece to show the ice or snow, whatever you want to call it, coming out of her hand. And then there's just Sophie's name. Sophie loves Bruni, so I just asked her to include him some way, shape, or form, and the fact that he's trying to catch one of those snowflakes is just perfect. That was one of the first things Sophie mentioned. I am just so excited. I think she's going to have the best day, and you're going to see how it all came together right now.